Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Xiaomi Mi Band 7 with the Mi Fitness Xiaomi Wear app on an Android phone. Also in the next video, we will show how to connect with an iOS device. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately, we have the MI Band 7, and let's see how to connect it. First, when you turn it on, it will show you the QR code for the app which it uses. So, what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it, after we have scanned it will show us a link that we can download directly or we can find by name in Play Store. And here we have the Mi Fitness app which we can download and connect to our watch. As you can see here, we already downloaded the app and what we're going to do is go inside and see how to connect our watch. After we open the app, we will accept the terms and conditions, before you try to connect, you should also turn on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and your GPS so you can do this process easier. Here we have the home page and we're going to press the device page and go on add device and it will start to search for our watch to connect. After you accept the privacy policy, we will allow me fitness to access on device location, it will show me band 7 on the device list and we will choose it to connect, now it will send you a pairing request on the watch, and we will accept to continue the connection. So here we have the tutorial which shows what some of the buttons do like the side button and the widgets inside when you swipe left and last the shortcuts that you can see if you swipe down. So, we can accept some features too as app notification and incoming call and messaging features. Next up, we have the app notification settings where you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications or if you want you can turn them off altogether. Also here we allow me fitness to access contacts, manage your phone calls, and phone call logs. So, let's accept it to allow me fitness to make and manage phone calls and call logs. Now our watch is connected successfully and we can start browsing the features that this app offers. The first option on the app is watch faces, which lets us choose from a different variety of watch faces. You can choose whichever you like best and it will change automatically. You have your local faces, and then you have online faces which if you need to choose the one you need to download it first, and after you have done so, you can apply it to your watch. Next up, we have the app notification settings where you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications or if you want you can turn them off altogether. After that, we have the incoming call setting where we can choose if we want our watch to show that we have an incoming call and show their contact info or not. Next are health monitoring options, like heart rate where we can choose if we want to have continuous heart rate monitoring, we can also turn on and off resting heart rate, and active heart rate. After that, we have the sleep monitoring option if we want to leave advanced monitoring on or off. Next is blood oxygen, which we can set to measure during our sleep and the frequency that we want to use. Next, we have stress where we can choose the all-day monitoring option and relaxing remainder. Next, we have standing, here we can activate a reminder to stand up your watch will vibrate when you re-sedentary for one hour. Also, we can activate reminders when we reach our goals. Next, we've got alarm clock and events where you can add any alarm and events that you want. You can label them however you want and make them repeat if you need them on weekdays, weekends, or every day. Down below we've got weather if we want to turn it on or off to show in our watch also, we can choose the location and temperature unit. Now in Mi Band 7, we can rearrange widgets we can set which widgets you want inside your watch based on whichever you use mostly and whichever we need. And if we add or remove one it will automatically update it on your watch, as you can see here.
After that, we have the app layout where you can change how you view your apps inside whether you want to see them as a grid or as a list as we have done right now. Next, we have Raise to Wake which has some options inside. Next, on the vibration, we can choose the vibration level for some of the options. Next, we have night mode we can turn on or off night mode or we can schedule time. Next, we have the find device, when we activate this the watch will vibrate and it makes it easier for us to find it. Also, we can activate the discoverable mode. Next, we have language, here we can choose which language we want. Next, we have a security section, here we can set the pin of our watch and we can activate pairing restrictions which means we can't pair it with other apps or phones. And in the end, we have the help center if you need anything, the check for updates option, and the about device option which shows the model, MAC address, version info, and serial number. On our left corner, we've got health where it shows our status and our history. Of our monitoring options, like our workout history, our sleep history, steps, and how many calories we have burnt, our heart rate monitoring, and all of these stats are on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. We can see a lot of stats like energy levels, stress, standing time, VO, blood oxygen, ECG, cycles, and other things. Last, but not least in the middle we have the workout option, where we can choose the activity we want to be doing like outdoor running, walking, cycling, or any other activity you want, and just press on start and your watch will start tracking your activity, the time spent and the calories lost on that activity. So, this is pretty much it on the Mi Fitness, Mi Fitness Xiaomi Wear app, how to connect and what to expect inside. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.